Hello everyone, welcome back. Today's video is a haul from the website Shein. I decided to pluck up the courage and order a huge amount of accessories and clothes from it. I think I spent around £161. I know a lot of people are always so curious about it because it's so cheap and there's a lot of mixed reviews about it as well but I'm actually really shocked with everything that came and I'm really impressed as well so I'm definitely going to be ordering it again. I placed this order like three weeks ago and it came it came within I think about six or seven days and it said that it would take two weeks so I was actually surprised when it arrived so early but the order that I placed last week is now saying it's delayed so I do think that it's going to take the two weeks now but I'll wait and see. I should probably mention that I had a discount code with this so all the prices that I'm going to be saying is with 25% off. Shein's really good for being cheap and providing a discount so the order that I placed last week I had a 30% off and if you download the app you get 15% off straight away. I'm going to start with the accessories that I got. So the first thing is a headband. This is it here. It was £2.40 and I know it's cheaper going to Primark but because it's got the pearl detailing I understand why it's a little bit more expensive. It's so nice on. Um, I've literally not even worn any of these clothes yet. They've been sitting on my stool for like two weeks now. The same for the accessories that I bought. I've not put anything away. I've just been keeping it there for this video. So this is really cute because you can kind of wear it uh, with a casual outfit, dress it up or you can even wear it with like a dressy outfit. I got another headband and this is it here. I thought this was so, so cute. And this was also £2.40. The only thing is when you put this in your hair, it kind of catches on the little parts there. Excuse my nails, sorry, I don't know what's in that there. So that's that. Next, I bought some necklaces. This is the one here that I bought. It is a coin and it's a little dragon. This is a two piece and I got it for two pounds, so it's one pound each. And I love the fact that they aren't connected, like you can just wear them together or separately. I hate when necklaces are attached. Sometimes I don't mind it, but I just prefer like having two separate necklaces. This is a dupe for ones I found on Pretty Little Thing. I'm gonna add the photo probably around here. Uh, the ones on Pretty Little Thing though were eight pounds, so that was six pound difference between that. And with necklaces, I can never really tell between the quality. The coin one definitely feels cheaper than the dragon one. These are so loud, oh my god. The dragon one. But they do feel quite sturdy. So I'll just show that again. The next necklace that I got was this little one that says Angel. The only one that I could find something to compare it to was this one from Boohoo. Um, it doesn't say Angel, it says 1998, but it's like the similar style of writing. This is just so cute because it's not that long. It's like a nice length of the necklace. So I thought this would go so nice with a high neck top when you have that sitting there, like even a jumper, just anything really. And the last necklace that I got was also £2.40. Like I said, I don't usually like ones that are attached together, but they're like two different necklaces. But it's just a little cross it's got diamonds on it and then you can turn around so it's um reversible and it's just got this gold chain here i really like this so yet again i think it'd be so cute with a high neck top a jumper i don't know why my voice is suddenly <coughs> went like that um the only one i can compare it to is one on pretty little thing that was eight pounds so yet again these are so much cheaper than buying it from Pretty Little Thing and Boohoo, anything like that, really misguided. Even though the quality might be a little bit better, so far I'm still really impressed with how everything's turned out. And I've not, although I've not wore them um, as much, I wore the Angel one already and that was fine. The only issue was the clasp. I'll show. It was just a bit slow, it kind of stuck a little bit. So, but it's understandable for it being £2. That's why I'm not dissing it. Because I have bought all this, so cheap prices is normally going to equal as cheap products. I think this might be my favourite thing that I bought from Shein, even out of the clothes. I found this and I was so shocked, just because I don't know how they've got away with using this. But basically, it's a dupe for the Vivian Westwood necklaces. And this is called a Planet Necklace and it was only £2.80. 
I'm going to do a comparison between a Vivian Westwood, Westwood necklace that I've got myself, which is £75. So the fact that I got this for £2.80 and the quality of it is actually really good still shocks me. The one on the left is the real Vivian Westwood one and then the right one is obviously the one from Shein. But I can't actually get over the, the similarities of it. The next kind of things that I've got accessory wise are earrings. Now I saw this and I've never seen anything like it before except for on Etsy. And it's basically an ear climber, that's what they've called it. And it goes through, so see if you've got like a first hole or a second hole, it goes through that and goes down and then it hangs over the top of your ear. And it's meant to look like that. I just thought it was so nice because I've never seen anything like it. And this was £2.80. I've got a lot of piercings, um, they are gold. I kind of have a theme between like a, like some gold and it's got like little pearls and diamonds like I've got in these ones here. I don't know if you can really see them. So this kind of fits in with the theme that I've got. And then the next set of earrings that I got was a six pack and this was also £2.80. And it's just some hoops that I've got, pearls on it, just plain gold ones and then little ones that kind of have both, um, a little heart. Um, diamonds and then pearls you can get ones in Primark that kind of range in price like I've got a pack from Primark that are £2 but you can also get ones that are like £4 and then Pretty Little Thing they could range between like £6 and £8 as well for me though earrings are earrings like cheap earrings don't really make a difference to me as long as they look pretty I don't really care where they're coming from but I saw these and I thought they were going to look so nice in my ears obviously I also got an anklet, which is a three piece, and this was also £2.40. It is a little chain here that has, I think it's, is it one chain? No, it's just one chain. Um, and it has a moon, shooting stars, normal stars, and then it has the kind of beaded one with a little blue bit there. I just thought these were so pretty, and it also kind of fits in my theme that I've got in my ear, because I have a cartilage earring that I wear, which is a moon and a dangly little star, and then my conch piercing has a uh, constellation so it all kind of fits in together but like I said I've not even tried these on I'm really excited about these though because I love wearing anklets in the summer so I lied when I said that I hadn't actually been wearing anything yet I got a pack of six scrunchies for £3.20 so six scrunchies £3.20 that's £53 no 53 pence a scrunchie not £53 excuse me and they have unlike a metallic fabric to them. I've been wearing these constantly. So I've kind of got a mustard colour, um, a peach, a plum. I think this colour is so pretty because it's like metallic. Um, a beige, a cream colour and then a baby pink. And I love scrunchies. Because I think they kind of tie together if you're wearing like a bun or a ponytail. Just kind of adds to it so it doesn't look so plain. The last of the accessories that I got is this belt. And it is an eyelet one. And I thought it was so cool and different. Because you usually just see the black kind which I've actually got. And I'll compare it to from Pretty Little Thing. Which was £8 and this one was £4. Now I'm going to move on to the clothing. I'm going to show and try on everything that I bought. I'll let you know the price, the size and also some tips before you buy off Shein. Basically, if you're going to buy from the website, always look at the reviews and look at the size guide as well. Sometimes girls that I've bought from there already will put in the reviews pictures of them wearing it and they'll also add their measurements. So if your measurements are similar to another girl's, you're basically going to see what it looks like on already. I wish that other clothing brands took this on as well because I always like to see what it's going to look like before I buy it because then I know what size to get and also like if it's going to fit my figure. The first item of clothing that I'm going to show is this top that I got and it's basically just an oversized really baggy top like that. 
it says the future is in your hands and this was £7.19 and I got it in a size medium because I wanted it to be baggy because usually when I buy it from other places I still feel like they're quite tight around like the bum and my hips area but this is like a slinky material and it's super comfy and also baggy around the bum area which I like so this could be worn with just a pair of cycling shorts even a t-shirt, leggings, anything you can dress it up, dress it down I just think it's really nice. I'm going to apologise in advance as well because none of this stuff's been ironed so it looks a little crinkled. The next thing that I got was a kind of jumper but I'd say it's more like a thick t-shirt material. It was £9.59 and I got this in a size small so it's basically just a crop jumper like that except it's got an open back and I really like this as well. Here's that black top, it really shows you how baggy this is. I've just got like a pair of cycling shorts on before anyone thinks like I'm naked. It's just a pink pair. But I just love how baggy this is and loose. Here's that crop jumper. I love how it's got the balloon baggy sleeves and it's like really tight around the wrist. And then it's got the open back. Then I got a pair of shorts. These shorts are so in right now and I'd actually wanted to get them off Topshop but they were £19 and these ones were only £8.79 so it's basically just baggy jogger shorts with a little drawstring here and I think they look really good with a pair of trainers kind of like a tight top and you could also just like throw a shirt over or even just put like a denim jacket over it as well I got these in a size small so Small is an 8 and then medium is a 10 I think it was. Here are the grey shorts and they're black. They're a little bit long but they do have pockets but I quite like the length of them just because I feel like sometimes when they're around this length they kind of ride up my bum a bit. I'm not going to be putting outfits together, I'm literally just going to be trying it on because I can't be honest designing like a full outfit, I don't have time for that and I don't really want to. This is also my clicker in case you've seen this like my hand like holding this in my hand it basically just turns my camera on and off so I don't have to keep running up and down to it. But yeah that's what they look like on. They just fit really nice and they've got the, the drawstring here. I also got a dress and this looks like a dupe for the ones you can get off Motel Rocks except the ones in Motel Rocks are Motel, sorry, I'm like mumbling that. Motel Rocks is like £35. This one was 7 99 And it's just a gold kind of mustard colour. It's got a little slit on the right side. And it's got kind of like the Chinese pattern on it. So there's flowers and cherry blossoms. And I'm pretty sure there's a dragon somewhere, maybe on the back. But I just think that's so pretty. And it'll be nice to wear with a t-shirt underneath and then a belt, a pair of big boots and then like a denim jacket. And here's the dress with a little black t-shirt underneath and my eyelet belt. It's only a little slit which I like so it means my pants are going to come out. I can't mind if I said but I got this in a size 10 um, purely because I didn't know how tight it was going to be around this area. I probably could have got away with the 8 but I kind of liked it looking a little bit baggier, especially because I might want to wear like a baggy top underneath it as well. I'm literally the worst for describing things because all I say is it's really nice, it's really pretty, I really like it and it's cute. I need to start thinking of more describing words and actually ways to say what the product's like. But basically, the next thing that I got was this cardigan slash jumper thing. The only thing that I can compare it to is this that I got from Pretty Little Thing. It's quite thin this top though and this one is definitely thick, the quality on it is amazing and it was more on the expensive side so this was £11 and the one that I'm wearing is 15 The only issue that I've got with this though is I find it really discriminating as it's a one size top and I know for a fact this isn't going to fit a size 14 or 16, I'd say maybe a 10 I pushed and a size and a 6. I just think it's quite disrespectful to put it as a one size when it's not going to fit all sizes. Besides that though, it is really cute and I love the buttons on it because it kind of changes colour almost. 
sometimes when you have it in a different light it looks like a neon yellow but then other times it kind of looks like an off white I'd say the best way to describe it, it actually looks like whitey but I don't want to use that as a describing word Then I got a little cami top. This was £4.80 and I got it in a size small and it's just in the beige cover and it's that ribbed material and then also it kind of ruffles almost at the bottom of the top. I just thought it would go really cute with a pair of mom shorts or mom jeans and then with a, like a shirt over it basically. Here's the cami top. If I fix it. It's like such a nice sitting around here and it hides your bra strap so well. It's kind of that awkward length though, like it's in between being long and being cropped. But I think this looks cute. The next two tops are pretty similar and I'm going to be comparing them to a top from Misguided which was £15. The first one is a zip up ribbed black long high neck top and this one was £6.79 and I got it in a size extra small instead of the usual small that I would have got it in because I read the reviews like I said and it comes quite big so this was the perfect size for me and the next one is one of my favourites maybe and it is a neon green zip cropped top and it's also ribbed and the zipper is really good quality it doesn't stick at all and this one was £5.39 this one though I got in oh I got this in an extra small actually as well I didn't think I did I think it's because these zip up tops I wanted them to be tighter I didn't want them to look baggy and that's the neon zipper top and go all the way up and I've just got like a pair of casual droggers on with these ones it's quite nice because see if you're wearing like jeans maybe you could even tuck that in that's the black one and then I'm going to be comparing it with the white misguided one that's kind of similar I got another baggy top which was £8.79 and I got this in a size small instead of the medium like the other baggy top that I got but it's still really baggy at the bottom and it isn't tight which I like and it's kind of got this 90s graphic picture on it. Like I said I haven't ironed anything so it's all crinkled. Obviously it's decent iron like I said because look at the actual state of this. Still got the cycling shorts on. I'm really liking wearing the same colour but different shades of things right now. So wearing like a light baby blue jumper and then like a darker blue um, pair of cycling shorts or something. I think it's really nice. There I go again saying it's really nice because I don't know what else to say. For the price that I got this top, I got it for £5.20 and it is in a size small. The quality of it is amazing. I wore, when I tried this on, I wore a bright pink bra and in the photo, like in the videos of me like trying it on, I'm going to be wearing the same bra for it all as well, just so you can see like if it's see-through, how thick the material really is and it's just like really neon, not neon, but like this really bright pink fuchsia bra. But basically, it's kind of like a little polo top. It's got a little collar and then it's low cut and it's actually got a bit of metal into it, so it stays that V-shape. And it's just cropped and it's a cream beige colour and I just think it's so cute and will go nice with a pair of mom jeans or shorts like the other things that I got. I think this top which is the polo one really shows how good the material is considering the colour that this top is which is a creamy colour and if you were to get this from anywhere else sometimes it would be see-through and I've got a bright brow underneath and you can't see it at all. This one might not be everyone's cup of tea, but as a baby girl, it says on it, it was £4.20 and I still can't get over the quality of this one as well. It wasn't see-through at all and I got it in a size small and I'm just 
what's impressed me the most is it feels like a size 8 especially around the arms a lot of places that I get a size 8 from it's really tight on my arms but it fits everywhere else and then when I get a size 10 it doesn't fit here but it fits on my arms it's just a bit annoying that they can't be as stretchy but this one just fits all over really nice and it doesn't have that screaming tight feeling on my arm either it's just cropped as well here's the little baby girl top like I said it fits on my arms still got that room not that tight this is the one that I'm comparing it to, which is from Pretty Little Thing and it was £6. The threading has actually came out of it. I don't know if it was maybe just because it was too tight. Then I got a kind of really thin, light jumper almost, and it's that crotchet material. This was 9 99 and it's got the ruched drawstring bit at the front. I got this in a size small, and the only thing that I could really compare it to is this one from Pretty Little Thing, which I think was around 15 as well. The only, this is like really nice on, I will say that. The only thing is I wish it was tighter at the body because it's quite baggy um, under the boobs and at the, the waist area. It's like a stretchy material, but I think that's just because it's light. But I love how the arms look. It's almost like a balloon kind of top. I don't know if I've explained that right, right, right and the drawstring jumper. It's got the same kind of effect on the sleeves like the other crop jumper I've got. But do you see what I mean where I would have liked it if it was more like that rather than it being so loose? I see, I don't mind it, I just would have like preferred it being tighter because it still looks nice. Just doesn't mean it's going to be like so tight and claustrophobic. The next item is probably my best buy that I got. I got a pair of mum jeans for £13 and I can't actually, I just can't get over them still because um, the quality has really, really shocked me. They are a little bit thin and I got, these are classed as rolled up ones, but it's so nice to get a pair of jeans. Like I'm not a tall person and it's so nice to get a pair of jeans that I can wear without rolling up or I can like wear with rolling up because they sit at a decent length on my ankle. I'm going to be comparing these ones to a pair that I've got from Pretty Little Thing which I think were about £25. There are some differences between them. I definitely say that the Pretty Little Thing ones are thicker. These are a little bit thin and my Pretty Little Thing ones also have rips in them but still for £13 I think the quality is amazing. And here are my mum jeans. So you can see these a wee bit better just to show that I've got one rolled up and then the other not. You can see the difference. I don't have a belt on as well. So it's quite baggy, at the, like a little gappy here. And you can see my messy room as well. But I just think they fit so nice and I love the colour of them. So these are the reason that I actually placed this order on Shein because I saw these pair of jogger shorts on Topshop and they were pink and they were so cute. Um, but they were sold out and they were like £19 I think but I kept going on every day and then eventually the, you know that thing when like the things you were looking at start coming up on Facebook as ads these shorts came up on Shein as an ad and I clicked on it and I was like oh my god I need them considering these were £7.19 I think it's just these the only thing is they don't have a drawstring but they actually fit really nice around my waist anyway and i've got these in a small so a size eight and they're so so nice and i'm really really happy with them here are the pink shorts and these have got pockets too I'd also say this was quite a good buy considering it was £5.20 and you can get tops like this for £25 on Motel Rocks and I was not paying that price, sorry, just for a simple long sleeved crop top. Basically, it's just a white long sleeved crop top, like I said, that has angel on it and it would look good with underneath a baggy jumper or even a baggy top and then a pair of cycling shorts which is the reason that I got it. It would also look good just on its own as well but the quality as well I'll show in the video it is so thick and you can't see my hand through it. 
you can't really see like my top or anything through it either and I, like I said I'll be wearing a bright pink bra and then you can see how thick it actually is. And this is the high neck top just with the jumper. This is how I probably wear it. And then without the jumper that's when you can see how thick it is as well. Like I said with the bra and because it's a white top as well it's really surprising that you can't see everything. Nearly done. I got this black high neck ribbed top and it has this panelling which I thought was really interesting. It makes it a wee bit different and this was 7 99 So it has the, like, the bars and then you can't really wear a bra with this sadly because it goes up too high. But it's got the shape of how your boobs would sit in it. It's just all together a really nice top. Kind of a bit different to your usual just plain black top that you would buy. Like I said, oh my god, I'm so bad at like <laughs> describing stuff. I've literally just said it's really nice constantly. And this is the black mesh one. You can see where you can't really wear a bra because it, you can see it kind of got a little bit under boob, but you can pull that down. Apart from that, I really like this top. This would go so nice with just like a pair of leather jeans, but I couldn't be arsed putting it on and I'm just keeping in my comfies. The last thing that I bought was this little blue ruched up top and this also isn't see-through at all. It was £4.99 and they have so many colours off this top as well. And it has that kind of like ruffled edges again here and then it rushes up all the way as well like that. I love the colour though. It's more like a, it's like a, what's that? Like a periwinkle. That was what I was thinking. That's that. And that's me done. I'm still wearing my grey shorts, but this is the periwinkle top. You can see it just ties here. And like I said, you can't see the bright pink bra that I've got underneath here. You can only just really see the pattern almost, because it's kind of got a lace on it. But that's that top. It fits really nice around the arms as well. And it just kind of holds you all in like you wouldn't, I wouldn't even say you need to wear a bra for this one. Oh, it doesn't look that bad. Come there good from the back. Thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed my haul and maybe now you'll buy something off Shein. I'll list and link everything that I bought down below in case you want to buy it. But once again, thank you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.